session we're going to be focusing on toning our upper body and our arms. We're going to be working unilaterally today so that means single sided on rounds one and three we're going to work on the right side and rounds two and four we're going to work on our left side. For your reference guys I'm going to be using 4kg and 5kg dumbbells in today's session. We're going to complete four rounds and work for 40 seconds and have a 20 second break on each one. As usual we're going to start off with a warm up so when you're ready let's get started. We're gonna start off by rotating the wrists around to the right hand side. So just bring your arms out nice and long. We'll leave them down below and just rotate your wrists eight counts to the right. We're making little circles and then eight counts over to the left. We're gonna need a nice firm grip today, guys. So we want the wrists to be nice and warmed up as well. Then pull back onto your fingertips just lightly and stretch out the front of your arms, your forearms here. Do that four times on each side. Great job, okay, now open up the chest, nice and wide, and then collapse forward, so we open up the chest and forward for our back. Again, six times this one. Open, and then forward, reach down, stretching out our back and our hamstrings. Even though we're not using our hamstrings today, we're just gonna sit forward to stretch out that back. Nice work. And a couple more to go. up and rotate the right arm behind like a back swim, thumb lead, then turn it around to little finger and behind. Do this six times. And then when you're done, change sides. just on your shoulders and make big circles round to the back six times and then when you've done six go forward for six as well and then just bring your legs a little bit closer together let's swing and extend because we're going to work the triceps today and also we're going to be doing a swinging action in one of our movements too. So nice and warm, ready for our unilateral upper stretch. Let's go. Remember for rounds one and three, we're going to be working on the right side and for round two and four, we're going to focus on the left side. So for the first exercise, it's a lateral to a front raise and I'm going to be using a four kg weight. We're going to do 40 seconds of work and a 20 second rest. So let's go. Lateral first and then front. Just come up to shoulder height. Lateral and front. Great job. So try to keep the arm nice and straight. If you do need a slight bend on the lateral side, then just bend out up to shoulder height and release down. Well done. Try to keep the body nice and still as well. I'm keeping my left hand behind my back here so that my body is nice and open and upright. Last few seconds. And relax, well done. That's our first one on the right, done. Okay, next up, stick with the weight or go a little bit heavier. I'm just gonna change over to my 5K for a wide curl. So I'm gonna come out to the sides. Again, put that left hand behind the back here, just for stability, keeping the chest nice and open. Let's curl up on that right side and release down. Make sure you're releasing all the way down to the leg because we want that full length, full range of motion out on that right side. Lengthen it out, breathe it in, and then blow out as you lengthen down. 
Great work, we're halfway. Yes, 15 more seconds to go. Feeling that burn already, eh? <laughs> Last one, and release it all the way down. Then relax. Good work, guys. Okay, on the next one, we're just going to need our body weight only. We're going to do a lateral push up on the right side. So focus all of our body weight as we go down into that right side. Okay? Particularly into the chest. So we're going to recruit some of the shoulders. Keep your core nice and tight as well. So out to the side, push down onto the right. Rise up, down. Rise up. Good work. So try not to use the left. We're going to be using it a little bit, but try not to use it fully. Let it have a little relax. Breathe in, blow out. Good work. Five seconds to go. Nice and strong, well done. Okay, next up we've got an overhead tricep extension. So grab the weight that's most appropriate for you. I'm gonna try a five. I've done the fives before, so I'm gonna give that a go. It's a little bit more challenging single side. So maybe you wanna start with a four. If not five, six or seven, <laughs> you might be way more advanced than me. So we're coming down to the opposite shoulder and then pushing up. Squeeze in the core tight, push with your tricep on the right hand side. Can you feel the burn already? When you do things single side, it is a little more, a lot more challenging, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below how you felt this one to, to be at the end. One more, <laughs> let's go. It's just really interesting to find out what weights people are on as well. That one was good for me. Okay, next up we're gonna do flies. So we're gonna work into the back. Again, choose your choice of weights or stick with the same. I'm gonna go back into a five. Hold the left behind, come into center, and squeeze out to the side. And back into the center, no swinging around, just Nice, good form. If you want to have a slight bend in the elbow, that's good. Just lift it up and squeeze into the back. Great work. Last two, one more. Um, relax, oh, starting to feel a real tingle going on in that right side now. Okay, the next one's a swing to a punch, okay? So we're gonna do one swing, bring it in, punch it out, and then swing again. Okay, let's go. Swing, punch, down. Just that right side. Swinging and punching our way through the day into the summer, getting that summer body. Why not? You can use the legs a little bit for the swing for momentum. <laughs> or if you're really strong, no legs needed. 10 seconds are left. Swing and punch are our number six exercise. We've got two more to do. And relax, nice work, okay. So we're gonna change my weight because our next exercise is a clean and a press. So right side again, exercise number seven, clean and press. Start off in the middle here. It's an upright row position to start and then a press to the ceiling. So clean, press, down, release. Clean, press, down, release. Keep it central in the middle. And press. 
can work a little bit of legs if needed for momentum but otherwise very very minimal effort in the legs more so in these arms last one and then relax good work okay our last one of round one is here i'm going to do kickbacks actually i'm going to stick with the same weight so i'm sticking with my fives single sided kickback just bent over tipping from the hips kicking back squeezing back into just underneath the armpits if you can let's go Well done so far, so good. Feeling the triceps working now. We did our overhead extension earlier. So now we've got that extra tricep exercise. Good, last two. And one. Ooh, release, very, very good. Well done, guys. We've done round one on our right side. We've now got to do the left, okay? So one and three on the right, two and four on the left. So round two, all the left side. And picking up the fours again for our lateral to front raise on the left side. Shake up that right. It deserves a nice rest, doesn't it? Okay, let's go on the left side. Lateral and front. Lateral. Good. Oh, it's so nice to give the right side a break, isn't it? Now, with the unilateral training, you're going to spot differences in between the strength of each of the sides of your body. So there may be a side that's slightly stronger slightly weaker too and that's the areas that you need to focus on working on last one well done that's the great thing about it you know um, identifying those areas that you need to work on fine tweaking them so that you know you can be the best version of you wide curls coming up next guys right hand behind the back let's bring it out to the side curl up with the left and release down Breathe in and then blow it out. Pump up that bicep on the left side. Squeeze it up and lengthen it down. We really want to tone up these muscles so work to your best capacity. And don't give up. Always say to yourself, just one more. As I said before, it's just one more. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. One more, okay. <laughs> I keep saying just one more in about 10 times. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're gonna go on the ground and we're gonna go into our left side push-up. So predominantly working onto the left side. Give that right a break, push into the left. On your knees, suck in your core, or on your toes if you're the ground. Push into that left, rise up. Still try to focus on your range of motion, so full range of motion all the way down. Nice. Ooh. Toughy for me on the left, I'm a little bit weaker on the left. But I'm not gonna say that to myself. <laughs> Last few seconds. And relax, beautiful, let's come back up. Now, we're on our, on our overhead extension, that tricep overhead extension on our left. Let's see how this one feels. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, let's get into position. Opposite shoulder, aim for it on the right, and then push up. Breathe in. 
in. Oh, I'm feeling this one. Come on, left. <laughs> if in doubt, talk to your muscle group. <laughs> Breathe in. Out. Good work. Let's get in one more. Push to the top. Release. And relax. Ooh, that was tough. I stuck with the fives for the reverse flies on the right so you'll have to be the same again I guess on the left <laughs> okay tip from the hips and let's fly out on the left let's go control it back in and release that good so nice and controlled okay don't throw it up too much like that just nice control out to the side, lower down. Nice control, lower down. Great work. Good guys, five seconds to go. And relax, beautiful. I'm gonna change to the four now. For those swing punches, Coming up, and we've got the cleaning press and the kickbacks. Then we're gonna say hello again to our right side because it would have been resting for way too long to get it back into action. Let's go, swing, punch, release, good. One swing, one forward punch. Great work, so far so good. Let me know in the comments if um, your left or your right side was stronger or weaker, what you found good about the session, what you found challenging. It'd be really, really great to hear from you. I always reply to every single person, so I really wanna support you, so let me know. Last one. Ah, relax. Good work, people. Clean and press, I'm gonna keep Clean and press with a five and kick back with a five. Okay, last two exercises on our left, then we're going back over to our right. When you're ready, let's clean it up and press it up. So in today's session, obviously we're doing a unilateral upper body workout and in the next session following this one is going to be our unilateral lower body workout. So single side, lower body work. You can combine the two to make an hour session or you can simply just do one session on one day and another one on another day. You decide. But either way, I'd love it if you joined in. One more. And relax. Ooh. Okay, kickbacks, I'm sticking with it. Last one on the left. I know it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna taste myself. What are the gains? What are we doing this for? And then my mind connection to muscle will help me plug through to the end. Tip forward. Let's go. Good work. And we're ready for one more, guys. To the end. Strong left side, well done. Great work, just shake it all out. Ooh. Now they feel a little bit more equal, don't they? <laughs> okay, so one more round left on the right and another one on the left okay so back into the right side and pick up this lovely four and do the lateral to front raise once again with the same weight because that one suits me so do what, what's best for you what you can endure throughout the 40 seconds Tucked 
in nice and tight. Keeping the pelvis tilted forward with soft knees is a really great position to be in as you're working solely just the shoulder area. Great job, 10 seconds to go. Okay, last one. Yeah. Brilliant work, everyone's doing a great job so far, so well done. Wide curls, slightly heavier for me, but then if you don't want to, stay with the same. Coming out to the side, chest proud, curling up halfway and lengthening all the way down. Let's go. Now, if you want an extra burn, go a little bit slower. Okay, so keep the muscle under contraction for a little bit of a longer time period. So rather than go, you know, up and down too quickly, go down nice and smooth, slow release, rise up, slow release down. 10 seconds left. Mind connection into bicep. Good work. Okay, what's up next? The push up. So, no weight is needed, just body weight only onto the ground, pushing into that right side. Predominantly, right side. Okay, I'm going to stay on my knees for this one. You can go on your toes if you wish, no problemo. In and out. Don't forget your breathing pattern is so important as you're doing every single workout. Breathe in, out on the exertion, in, out, in, and out. Good work. We've got that overhead extension coming up next, guys. Last one. Let's squeeze in one more. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, as I said, overhead extension coming up now. Single side. I'm sticking with my five, even though it was a challenge. It's a good challenge, isn't it? Okay, overhead. Let's go. Behind to the left shoulder, rise up, straight up to the ceiling. Great job, I'm not talking much in this because <laughs> I'm trying to focus in on my tricep connection. Last two reps. And last one. Oh, really felt that. And I hope you did too. We're gonna to stick with the fives for our flies going out to the side next. Tip from the hips, work into the back. Soft knees, tip forward. And let's fly. Go. <sighs> well done. Feel that squeeze into the back. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, well done. Started to feel solid on the old arms there now. Yes, that's what you want. Nice, firm arms for the summer. Okay, next up, we're gonna do our swing punches on the right-hand side. So are you ready? Knees nice and soft. Let's go, swing. Pull it in, punch it out. Let's go. Okay. 
Swing punches, clean and press, and kickbacks are our final exercises for the right side. Then we've got just the left to complete in today's session. So I hope you've got this far. So far, so good, right? Okay, last few reps. Two more. One, and release. Nice work. Okay, so last two exercises, uh, penultimate one is the clean and press, and then we've got our kickbacks, so tricep kickbacks. So guys, stay with me to the end. Right side, clean and press, here we go. Up, push, down, really. Good, nice work. Last one. Great job. And relax. <laughs> Woo. Right, well, we've got this far. So we might as well finish off the right side with a nice strong kickback for your triceps. And you can do it standing, or if you prefer, you can do it on the ground. I'm gonna do it on the ground just to show you. Lean forward onto the left side, just kicking back with the right here. If you want more stability, you don't want to tip from the hips and knees to the back. So you've got this option on this round and the next to kneel and do kneeling kickbacks. Brilliant work. All the way to the home straight, everyone. All the way. Three, two, one, and relax. Well, well done. 30 seconds of rest. And we're firming up the left side once again. And then we're done, four rounds. What a great session so far. Hit the subscribe button and the like button for me right now if you haven't already done so. Really appreciate that, it helps me to produce so many more videos for you free of charge of course on this platform thank you guys let's go on the left lateral to front great work one round to go on the left and stay nice and strong make sure you hold your weights firmly in your hands just go out laterally on that left side to the shoulder height forward, up. Great work, you got this. Last one, coming up front raise. Release it down gently and relax. Pick up your heavier weight or stick with the same. You decide for our wide cow coming up next. Place your feet firmly on the ground. The right hand is behind. And to keep the knees soft, squeeze up. Release all the way down, lengthen it out. Remember to slow down the contraction if you want more contraction of the muscle. Just take it a little bit slower. So pump it up. See that muscle working, feel it working as well. <sighs> Lovely job, guys. Last one. Oh, beautiful work. Pop it, pop it down on the ground. I just need that body weight only now for our left side. Okay, so push down onto the left. Open up the chest to the left and let the right side pretty much relax. Breathe 
anything? Oh. All the work to go into that left side on this push up for the last time. <laughs> Great work, 15 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Oh, well done. Okay, overhead extensions for the last time. Are you sticking with the same weight or are you going heavier? I've always used the five in this session today, but have gone heavier let me know it'd be really interesting to know where you're at okay when you're ready guys last time on the left overhead extension push think of the gains in the back of the arm breathing seconds to go. Ooh. One more. One more. Oh, yes. We made it. It was either that or the dip that I was going to put in today's session and I chose the overhead extension because I didn't have a chair. But I do, but I didn't have one in today's session, so overhead extension it was. And that's just as hard as a dip, don't you think? Okay, let's go from here to squeeze into the back. Just as hard as the, the overhead extension, but the, but the dip is body weight, but still, it still feels just as hard. Out and in. 20 seconds to go. Single fly swing punches are coming up next. Yes, last one. And relax. Switching over to my four for the swing punches, and I'll go back to the five in a moment. So the last two on the left. Take a nice deep breath, get ready. Knees are nice and soft for our swing punches on this left side. Let's go, everyone. I quite like these because they use a little bit of momentum as well, don't they? With the swing. Swinging straight arm, punching out front straight. Swing. You'll probably do this with a five, actually, but I stuck with the four throughout this session. Maybe the next session, time I do this session, I'll do it with a five. And progressively move up if you can. 10 more seconds to go. Last one. Good work. Great job. Amazing guys, we've made it towards the end almost. We've got two exercises left, the clean and press and the kickback. We'll do the kickbacks on the floor as we did in the last round, just kneeling for those of you who don't want to tip over from the hips. But first of all, let's focus on that clean and press for the last time on the left. Clean and press, release. Clean, switch, press. Good. Let's make this powerful all the way to the end. Superwoman and Superman are here. <laughs> Last few. And one more, guys. One more. Oh, well done. Good work. We're at the end, our last exercise. Kick back time, and then we'll have a short cool down, lengthen all those muscles back out that we shortened, okay? So if you can stay with me to the end. Let's do the kickbacks first though. 
bit work. Focus on the back of the arm even when it's tired. Push, release in. Push, release in. Good work. So we've got just 10 more seconds left. That's it for the session today. And one more. Yes, we made it. Well done. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's do a short little cool down together. Okay, we'll start on the ground. Lengthen out the arms. Sit back into the heels and really stretch the upper body. As you do this, push your chest towards the ground. Make sure your arms are fully lengthened out. And then just drop into the ground with the chest only, all right? Chest goes down. Great work. Okay, from here, Come back up to the center, thread the left hand or arm underneath. See if you can rest on it and look up to the ceiling. Nice twist of the lower back as well. And change arms. Oh, such a lovely stretch, I love that. Stretching the shoulder and the, and the lower back as well. Really, really great little stretch. Back to centre. Okay, let's come up. So just go into your down dog, crawl your hands in towards the feet, slowly rise. Very, very good session. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's stretch your shoulders one more time. Then we'll stretch the triceps and the biceps out. Do our signature stretch at the end. And until our next session, which is gonna be our unilateral lower body session, by the way, as I mentioned earlier, unilateral with the lower body. want to hold these stretches for longer feel free to do so just bring your arms out and if you find a wall close by just place the hand softly on the wall and then turn to the opposite direction you'll stretch out your bicep into towards your shoulder and your chest area at the top and then change Feel a nice stretch into the bicep. Push your hand firmly onto the wall and rotate around as best you can. And change, good, okay. Release the shoulders back, guys. We're gonna do our signature stretch, which is breathing in positive air and any negative air releases out. So breathe in and then out any negative. Fill up your body with all the positive vibes in the world. Release any negative. I'll see you in the next one. Well done. Comment down below. Let me know that you did the session. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Till next time.